Hi, brother Mike, how are you doing? Mike, brother, are you okay? Yeah, I just want to uh, ask the question. It's a legitimate question. Yeah. Uh, Islam is in the West. Yeah. So what is the implication of Islam in the West? And I thought we'd look at a few Quranic verses to see what the implications are of Islam in the West. So, if you turn to uh, Surah 434, Yeah, I've got it. I want to read it. Yeah, yeah. It says, Men are in charge of women by right of what Allah has given one over the other and what they spend from mm. their wealth. So righteous women are devoutly obedient, guarding in the absence of what Allah would have them guard. Mm. But those wives from whom you fear arrogance, first advise them, then if they persist, forsake them in bed and finally strike them. Okay, so Quran, Surah 4, 34, and you could also, we don't have to turn to it, but you could read Surah 38, 44. So, it's basically saying there, you can beat your wife, basically. Now, we've heard Muslims say, it doesn't mean that, you just tap them. Mm. And modern uh, Quranic translations of the Quran try to water down the Arabic and say, it's just tapping. Done it here. They've put bite lightly. They've put it in but they put brackets. they put it in brackets here lightly. But the Arabic, it is not that. It's strike. It, it, it's beat. It's, it's it's physical violence on the people, on the on the woman. Mm. Now, what 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 are your thoughts about that, Mike? I mean, is there any? I mean, what are the implications for Western society if that verse was applied? Well, that verse is saying that you can strike them, and there's no. There's no dividing line of how the strike hit. It's just a strike. So, no, so if someone reading that, they just see, it, yeah, it's okay to your wife. There's no context to say, you know, or certain situations. It's not clear. It's it's clear the same you hit them, but it doesn't. You can't get away from the fact that it says hit them. You know. Okay. So now, just to be clear, we're not Islamophobic. We don't agree with Islamophobia, where we're just attacking Islam. Okay. This is a serious theological point that we're making and, and that we have a right to engage in theological academic discussion and debate and that's what this is on. And if any Muslim apologist wants to debate us on this topic, we're happy to debate them. So we're going to go into a bit of scholarship now, of Islamic scholarship. Now Sahih Bukhari is a very, very uh, esteemed hadith collector or the, the, the collector of the stories of uh, of Muhammad. And in Sariq al Bukhari 72, 715, uh, it talks about uh, he struck Aisha, his wife. Um, it also talks about uh, husbands can beat their wives and uh, to get them to submit to sexual desires. In Sayyid Muslim 421, 2127, he struck me on the chest that caused me pain. This is Aisha's, his wife says about Muhammad. He struck me on the chest that caused me pain. Sayyid Muslim 93506 says Abu Bakr slapped a woman and Muhammad left. And then you could go Abdu. Two one four two. Uh, don't ask, just beat your wife. And there are more, many other hadiths that encourage beating your wife. Now that is the scholarship. That is the hadith scholars. So, how can Islam be the inspired religion of God? How can it be the, from the Word of God? if it encourages this. Now, I brought this up at Hyde Park, others have brought it up at Hyde Park. What have been the responses and, and what do you think of the Muslim responses? Well, the Muslim response is they don't actually discuss this topic, they attack the Bible. They go to the Old Testament and look at verses where they see passages, oh look, your Bible teaches that, so who do you to call on us? Yeah, and that's yeah. what the tactics they do. But the, what they're saying is too wrong. What they're saying is, well, if your book teaches violence and ours is, that's okay. But at the end of the day, 
two wrongs don't make a right, and the fact is, if they looked at it in context in the Bible, they'll realise it's nothing like the Quran. It's not. It's not, it's not the same. It's not, not the same. Because uh, in Ephesians it says, "Husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church." There's no nowhere in the Bible that it talks about beating your wife, mm. is there? There's nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. So, so there's the difference, folks. The implications for Western civilization on that one verse. But Muslim scholars, Muslim academics, and the Western media don't want to face real scholarship and really deal with these difficult questions. Mm. Thank you for listening. God bless you.